show. Today, multi Grammy winning recording star Chili has scooped on her TLC comeback. Plus, Liliana Vasquez shows you how to create the perfect layered look for winter. And the latest dish on last night's Idol season premiere drama. Now, here's Wendy. such an informative show for you today. I'm gonna inform you about Leanne Rimes confessing that she's afraid that Eddie Sibri and her husband's gonna cheat on her too. Ooh. I'll tell you all about Jennifer Lopez opening up about dating Casper, who's 18 years younger than her. Ooh. And did you watch American Idol last night? Yeah. So did I. Nikki and Mariah made their Idol debut and I'm sure we all have an opinion. Yeah. So let's talk about it. It's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I was right there, eight o'clock last night for American Idol, and I stayed until the end. And um, what I learned is, is that it's really difficult to find good talent out there. I, I was not overly impressed by anybody, but I did like that girl who was rapping and then she sang, you know what I mean? But I mean, I wasn't overly impressed by the talent and I was distracted by the tension between Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj. Um, it began immediately. Take a look. Nikki's got a drum major hat here. Mm. Nikki and Mariah, you I guys are from New York. I was going to bring my dog. Like, we can have accessories. I didn't know that was allowed. Oh, but that's the last thing I'm going to say. Don't. That's the last thing I'm going to say. We were going to play nine. Are we supposed to go, darling? Oh, we're going to jump in. Go, go. I'm, I'm going. I didn't know it was I this. You. Uh, you, okay. yeah, uh, thank you, go. I appoint you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. I've been appointed. OK. Oh, It's like a knighting. Something that happens. OK. Mariah, is this beauty lighting? Do I consider I need beauty you to, lighting? I need you to make sure the lighting is completely beautiful. I already did that for you and up out my face. <laughs> oh, How does it happen? How does it even She's a, 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 a If she called me something that begins with a B and ends in an itch, I rebuke it. <laughs> First, Nikki, your wig was pulled down so low. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And girl, as a wiggy, I feel like I can talk. Cause sometimes I like to pull mine down low too on account I have a big forehead. And then Antoine, my wigologist, always tell me to push it back. But I love that Teresa Giudici uh, hairline. <laughs> but, but last night I was oddly distracted by how low your wig was pulled, girl. Um, also Mariah. And I'm a fan. I'm a fan of not just the music, but her kitschy coo, you know, that, that way she acts. But I don't know whether I could tolerate it every night, you know, that American Idol is on, that princess out of touch with reality thing, darling. You know, I, it, it just, you're from Long Island. You have 80 hours of business school, for goodness sakes, <laughs> or beauty school. You're not, you know, like, like, you're not a real princess. And the idea that you are wealthy beyond belief, still, you're still just from Long Island, darling. Oh, that's, <laughs> this is gonna grow tired real quick. And another thing, Mariah, don't let M Nicki Minaj play you out of your position. You know, we want you to be likable on the show and Nicki, Nicki won last night because Nicki was baiting you and you took it at every turn. And, and Nicki and Mariah on the show together, in my opinion, it's too much. Uh, originally, Mariah thought she was gonna be the only girl. They hired her for like $18 million, and then all of a sudden, they went through the back door and got Nicki Minaj, and I understand Mariah being upset about that, but you know what, Mariah? $18 million shouldn't be a lot to you in terms of what you want and what you don't want. If you really had, 
if you really had better character and you really, you, you should have quit and given them back their, <laughs> you, no, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like I've said this before. I said this before. And then you know what? After you quit, let's see how much you were really worth to them by them then not signing Nikki and bringing you back. You know, you really can assess somebody's character based on the money they take for doing things. And maybe that's why I'll always be broke because I, <laughs> I my, my thought about money though is that all money is not good money. If it's gonna compromise you, if it, like if you didn't wanna sit there with Nikki, then you should've just let Nikki sit there. And you could've taken a three year residency in Vegas, which is what I'm dying for you to do, and performed every night like a showgirl that you are. Um, and if and, and Idol, if what you were looking for was a rap element to the judges' table, and I like Nicki Minaj, but she's the wrong choice. You know, if you're gonna pay uh, Mariah all this money, then you should have chosen somebody who would show it a little bit more respect, like, are you ready? Queen Latifah. <laughs> Queen Latifah is loved by all and known by everybody. Queen Latifah will understand uh, that um, um, she and Mariah are from the same uh, era. Queen Latifah and Mariah will not be dueling divas regarding glamour, two totally different styles. And I just think that they're better. And Keith Urban, I liked you last night on the show. I was shocked. And, and Randy, hey Randy. Anyway, uh, so if you want, if you missed it last night, part two of American Idol comes on tonight. And as usual, it's great family fun. It's something you can watch with your kids. I watched with my son. He thinks Mariah's hot and he was tired of the colors. <laughs> he was tired, which I never heard him say that before, but between the two of them, he said he's tired of the colors, you know, with Nikki and everything. But, you know, uh, this part two airs tonight. It's, is it gonna be two hours again? Yep. Okay, but I don't know that I will be there for any of it because there, Thursday night is my night, honey. There's a lot of competition on TV. First, Oprah's doing her Lance Armstrong interview on OWN. And then, I love 30 Rock and this is the last season. I don't like to miss it, so I'm watching that. Thursday night, the Park and Recreation and Scandal, of course, with Kerry Washington. So, I don't know which way I'm gonna go with my TV watching, but even if I didn't see Oprah's interview with Lance tonight, she'd cut it up into a two-part interview so that we can watch it tomorrow night. Oh, I'm so confused, I love, I, I love TV. So last night I was uh, in the kitchen uh, stirring chicken noodle soup and, um, and watching Entertainment Tonight. And I saw Brandi Glanville, um, excuse me, Leanne Rimes was on there talking about her relationship with Eddie Cibrian and she revealed to Nancy O'Dell that, um, that she's worried that he'll cheat on her. In other words, do the same thing to her that he did to his first wife, Beverly Hills housewife, Brandi Glanville. Um, all right, take a look and then we'll talk. Do you ever worry about him cheating on you? I would be, first off, I would be ignorant to say and everyone else would think I'm a liar if I wouldn't say yes. And I have at times. The way, where I'm at in my relationship with Eddie, I do not, that is not a worry that's in the front of my mind ever now. That face didn't move, did it? <laughs> You're too young for all that girl. <laughs> um, um, here's the thing. I feel bad for her. I feel, I, I feel bad for Leanne Rimes. Like, I, I like her and I, I understand where she came from, you know. Um, to know her past is to understand or at least have a little insight into her present. You know, she sold millions of, of country music albums. She hasn't recorded in years. When she was a teenager, and I mean a young teen, not like 19, she was like 14. She got emancipated from her parents. I don't know the background, but when a child wants to emancipate, that means that perhaps she was raised by wolves in, in, <laughs> instead, of, instead of parents. No, do you understand what I'm saying? So to understand when, it, when a child's parents have turned on her at 14 years old, she's probably, clamoring for love and family any way she can get it. And he will end up, I bet you, cheating on you because he is, um, you know, there, there's cheating and then, oops, I, an indiscretion. And then there's cheating as a lifestyle. And his ex, Brandy, did you see her talking to um, the woman that she had the affair with on Vanderpump Rules? <laughs> I have to tell you something, Eddie, you are gorgeous but you are just a hookup. Not, she, he's not the one that you fall for because, Brandy, I'll be honest with you, I was out in Seattle and you know, some of my uh, family at you know, my station out there, they were asking me, um, what did I predict for you and, Brand and, and Eddie? 
and I said it without even missing a beat. I said, Eddie's gone as soon as the money runs out because that's just the kind of guy in my mind that I think that he is. And you will continue, Leanne, to act desperate for it, but I understand where the desperate comes from because on account of being raised by wolves. And, but here's, here's who I think is perfect for Eddie. I don't even understand why he's even dealing like with a, a peer, like a contemporary. You're the kind of guy that can get a count stress, Eddie. Like, like think about uh, the legendary Liz Taylor, rest in peace. You know, an old, a, a, a Gabor sister. If, you know, it, you know some, some older woman who understands the score, you know, she's paying for you to be around. You take her to the Beverly Hills Polo Club for dinner. You open the door for her. You wear an ascot. You look good. <laughs> she knows that she's, you know, paying for everything, but she's fine because she's a grand dame, maybe 75 or 80 years old. <laughs> right? But don't you think that that would be less problems than dealing with a contemporary desperate girl? Don't, I mean, I'm just saying. Why, I think, by the way, I think that Eddie Cibrian, because it goes back and forth, I was trying to think as I was uh, putting on my ensemble today, who looks better than Eddie Cibrian? You know, white guy Hollywood, you gotta put him in his, in his category, white guy Hollywood. Who looks better than him? Don't say Ryan Gosling and please don't say George Clooney. Eddie Cibrian is tops. I, I, it is tops. I'm gonna continue thinking about that though. I'll come back with somebody, but I don't think, oh, the dimples. Okay. Okay. Have you seen Jennifer Lopez on the cover of People Magazine? Yeah. I didn't even recognize you there, Jen. That's an interesting look. Inside, she talks about her relationship with Casper and she admits that, you know, she has worries about dating a man 18 years younger than her. And here's what Jen says. I ask him, why don't you go and find a young girlfriend and get out of here? What do you want with me? I think, how long is this gonna be? The truth is, we don't know. Uh, what, we don't know what's gonna happen. We're loving this moment right now. I, I love that. I still don't like that she's with this guy. However, I really do admire her confidence in the relationship and I love that she loves love. That, you know, that she's not so hardened in like, like I love that she loves love and, and, and you know, if she's fine with this guy and not hiding him, then, uh, then I'm fine with it. Hey, Mariah, can I tell you something? <laughs> you know, that La Lopez, She's probably just as or way more diva than you behind the scenes. You know, you read the magazines and you hear about stuff. But when she was on American Idol, wasn't she everyday girl who happened to be gorgeous? Like, wasn't she likable? Like, like, she knew how to behave for us regular people so that we can identify and like her and respect her opinion. And she didn't, she didn't say darling once. <laughs> And she gave us outfit and hair, but she was likable, right? Like somebody that, she was likable, yeah. Just something to think about, Mariah, that's all. So Lady Gaga is, is, is thinking about doing a, a grand gesture for Michael Jackson's kids, and it's a really good one. According to The Sun, Gaga wants to buy Michael's Neverland Ranch for his children. Aww. Isn't that nice? There were money problems with, that Michael had um, and eventually he had to sell the estate to an investor years ago. And his three children and his mother still own a small portion of Neverland. So Gaga supposedly wants to buy a share of the property until the kids trust funds kick in and then you know they can buy it back. But the other part of it that I didn't realize is that Gaga is reportedly obsessed with Michael yeah, uh, this is where it gets scary, Jackson kids. Hold, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, so reportedly she bought uh, like 50 pieces of Michael Jackson memorabilia and she love, 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 she's obsessed. By the way, nice, nice headpiece, Gaga. You look, you look pretty there. Um, um, so, so she's obsessed with Michael. The problem with that, Jacksons and Catherine, is that if Gaga buys a share, she might, fake you out and as soon as the paperwork is signed and the ink is dry, kick you out so that she can move in and continue to obsess. Oh. 
These things go on all the time, that, that the, the faking out in, in show business. Why, remember when Michael and, uh, and uh, Paul McCartney became friends and they did say, 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 and Michael always told him, you're the best, you're the best, you're the best. As soon as he had Paul exactly where he wanted him, he bought the Beatles catalog from right under Paul and then sold it out, right? And then he sold it out to commercials to make money, something that Paul McCartney never wanted and their relationship was never the same after that. So you just be careful, Jackson kids, cause Lady Gaga, just watch it. All offers aren't good offers. Hey Gaga, how you doing? <laughs> Okay, so um, there, I want to talk about the music scene for a moment because there, there are a lot of you know, changes and people that we've missed, like Justin Timberlake, you know. He hasn't made an album in seven years, which is a lifetime in the music world. You know, most of the time, you guys, as consumers, you forget about people who aren't out for a while, but he brought the sexy back, and on Monday, he released his new single. It's called Suit and Tie, featuring Jay-Z. Yeah. Have you heard the song? I like it, it's grown, it's sexy, but I can't wait to see the video that goes along with that because I'm sure that'll be more grown and more sexy. Er. <laughs> also um, on the music scene, Destiny's Child, all three girls are returning. I know all three. Styled by Tina Knowles. <laughs> um, the, the girls are releasing a compilation album with uh, one new song called Nuclear. But the most important thing is, is that they're releasing this compilation album, which is great for all the fans. And Kelly and Michelle reportedly are gonna join Beyonce on stage at the Super Bowl halftime, which I can't wait to do I know, I know, I know. I know. And then there's another group from the past that's going to be returning uh, on the scenes. Remember the 90s group, Criss Cross? <laughs> Daddy Mac will make you jump, jump. Mac, Daddy will make you jump, jump. Well, they had that hit jump. I can't think of anything else they did, but that was back in 1992 when my radio career was flourishing and I remember meeting the boys and hosting shows with the boys and interviewing the boys and this is how I remember them and I just didn't want the waters to be muddied by seeing them groan. <laughs> but Mac Daddy and Daddy Mac are reuniting to perform their song for the first time in almost 20 years. Here's what they look like today. He's still wearing his pants backwards. <laughs> I can't. Because they were kids when that song was out and they actually jumped, remember? And they used to get the audience to do it too. So now you're grown, they're in their 30s and um, apparently haven't let it go. <laughs> the background, backup. Uh, where are you gonna be performing for the first time in 20 years? Cause I couldn't find a venue. I can give you one right here, right? Look. Wouldn't that be the best if Criss Cross came to the sh uh, show and they did jump? It was a crossover pop hit. We all know the words. I'll wear my shift dress backwards. <laughs> you wear your clothes backwards because that's part of the prerequisite of coming here to the show. You, gotta, you have to do this look, everything backwards. Um, um, the booking department, answer the phone. Criss Cross might be calling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know what? I want to congratulate Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris because Candy's new man Todd asked her to marry. She said yes, so they're engaged. Not aw. You mean really? Okay, so this is for the spinoff reality show. You're going to try to get it before Nene and Greg. It's what Candy's getting married. Todd is an opportunist to me. He, I mean, they were together for way too short. And, and Candy, we've talked before. I just think that you introduce too many guys to your little girl way too soon. They live in the house together and everything. Although Riley, Riley, girl, she's only 10 years old. You really are blossoming into a terrific young looking young woman. I see you learned how to use the flat iron and you look like your mommy. Riley likes Todd, so if it's okay with Riley, it's okay with me, but I'm watching you, Todd, because I know the deal. We've got a great show for you from the girl group TLC. Chili is here. She's competing on the Food Network's Race.
Rachel versus Guy cook-off show. Plus, it's winter and fashion expert Liliana Vasquez is here. She's gonna show us how to layer our clothes and still look fabulous. But up next, from In Touch Weekly Magazine, Noah Levy is here with the inside scoop on which real housewife has a new younger man. Don't miss it. Scoop here from In Touch Weekly Magazine with the juicy celebrity stories, our friend Noah Levy. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. Okay, All right. I, I don't like to know these stories until we get told together. So which yes. Real Housewife has a new younger boyfriend? Well, Adrian Maloof is getting her groove back. Whoa. Yes, now she's at 51-ish. Yes. And she was out in LA at Koi with Sean Stewart. Now, Sean Stewart is Rod Stewart's son. He's 20 years younger than she is. He is, uh, his mother's Alana Stewart. Uh -huh. He's kind of rock and roll legendary status in a way. We're not quite sure what he does. In his, bi in his biography, he claims that he's an actor, model, musician. He was in a few reality How shows. How old is he? He looks... Like 30s-ish. Okay. He looks a little older. Yeah. But, yeah, but he's, he's slightly weathered. You know, he, you, you grow up in that environment yes, and the yes. weather can be heavy. Yeah, yes. Very PC. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yes. And he also had trouble with the law and drugs, right? Yeah, in 2002, he did have a, an arrest for some violent activity. Oh. And there were some allegations of someone throwing a brick at him or him throwing a brick at someone outside of a nightclub. It sounds like a bad party to me. Who does that? Don't invite me to that party. A no, brick. no, I'm protective of my face, please. Okay, yeah. so they were out together. Were they holding hands? Did it they look were some heavy PDA, very Lady in the Tramp, and I'm not calling any of them a tramp. No. They were, there no. are no tramps in this story. But um, they were sharing food, whispering each other's ears. There was some kissing. And, you wow. know... Wow, sorry, they, Paul. They're, I know you're not divorced yet, but Adrian apparently has moved on. Yeah, and they have three kids together. Now, what I love about this is I just try to go back in time and picture Adrian Maloof in the 70s listening to Rod Stewart, maybe when Alana was pregnant. Yeah. And cut to, you know, 30 years later, she's dating their baby. She's dating, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. By the way, uh... Did Mariah Carey talk to you about her American Idol uh, job? Yes. All right, so we have a great interview this week okay. um, with Mariah Carey. And what I love about her whole thing with Nicki Minaj uh -huh. is that Mariah is the queen of throwing classy shade. Now, that she means really, attitude. Yes, shade, for those who don't know, is attitude. It's kind of an underhanded dig. Right. And when we asked her, I love this, she's mm -hmm. amazing. When we asked her what Nikki brings to the table, uh -huh. what she offers, Mariah politely said, I actually don't feel comfortable answering that question. That, yes. <laughs> Woo, that yes. is, yeah. Or, or even better, should we, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she, Darling. She can't be accused of saying anything mean. She said nothing at all, which said yeah. so much more. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think this is going to be an interesting season. I really think that it's going to be fascinating to find out what happens at the end of the season, who's going to remain on the show. And how these What do you mean, the contestants? No, the, oh, the judges, please. Nobody's talking the about contestants. the contestants. We Whatever. don't watch a show for the contestants. Hello. No, we're watching for the two yes. girls going at it. Don't you think that uh, Queen Latifah would have been a better judge if that's I what Ida that, wanted to do? That's brilliant, and I never even thought about yeah, that. Well, she should have been brought into this game. It would be classy. Well, she's working on her talk show. We'll see you in September, girl. Yes, she we'll be watching and supporting. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think that'd be great. If they wanted the rap element, they should have done something like that. I mean, no. That, wouldn't, that wouldn't have threatened Mariah. No. That, you know, and, and there would be mutual respect. A list. Yep. Um, they wouldn't have been too mean. Known by everybody. Known by everybody. Yep. Loved by all, hopefully. Okay, um, so let's move on, because yes. Doug just held up a sign. How much time do we have left? I want to talk about Ola Ray. Let's. 56 seconds? 56 seconds. All right, we okay. can do it. Oh. All right, Ola Ray, the original video vixen who starred in Michael Jackson's Thriller. Do you remember her? Yes. The hug, you remember? All right, so we have to do this quick, but she sued the Michael Jackson estate to get her royalties from the Thriller video. She got $55,000, which isn't that much, considering that uh, that since Thriller came out, it's grossed over $92 yeah. million. Do we have a picture of what she looks like today? Let's look. Oh. Wow. wow. She's still video vixening? That's a little Rick James. I like it. I like that hair. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I do. Wow. <laughs> These are great stories. Thank you. This is fun. Thank you for sharing. Thank Noah you. Levy, everybody. We love him. For more on these juicy celebrity stories, pick up your copy of In Touch Weekly magazine. It's on newsstands now. Up next, Rosanda Chili Thomas is here. <laughs> Excited 
to uh, sit and chat with our next guest. You know, our next guest sold over 65 million records as one third of the Grammy Award winning group TLC. And now she's showing off her cooking skills on the new reality show, uh, Rachel vs. Guy Celebrity Cook Off. Please welcome Chili. Yeah. Just a little bit. No, there's the shoe cam. It's right there. I know, I know. See, there you go. Don't move your feet. Okay. We love your shoes. Thank you. Brian Atwood. I like your rings. Thank you. And I love your baby hair. Yes. Baby hair cam, please. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, right here. Yes. It just lays. It, it just does. Lays. And I always cut baby hairs into my wigs and stuff. I think baby hairs just finish off a hairline. Well, honestly, people the, think the, the baby hairs baby played, hair, though. It's not. It's it's a natural thing. You don't. Now I went through a period where I was I was doing too much. You were shaving. It, 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 no, it, it was just coming. Is it dripping? It, but it, but it's no, yeah. not dripping. No, not even it dripping just, down. Not it juicy. Was just a little. Just, yeah. 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 But I, I finally get. got I, I got that from Cindy Crawford from like. I was in high school yeah. and I saw her on the cover of Cosmopolitan she did, and she, she does I was baby like, hair. oh my God, I have to do that. And Jennifer Lopez does she it. She does it. And the Jacksons, they all do it. That, well, you know, I, I'm paying homage to Michael Jackson. Clearly, like you look really cool. Thank you. Yeah, you look good. And you're still as, as small and tight as you were in the group and you haven't aged a bit. Like I'm trying to look for, <laughs> you're like a young girl. You. Young girl, young girl. You. How you are look, the kids? You look great. Thank you. I'm serious. I'm looking too, and I don't. Thank you. I don't see anything. Yeah. How are your kids? I have a son. Tron, right? Yeah, Tron, Tron. and um, he's great. He's 15. I wow, can't. Wow, a teenager. That's, is he I'm, taller than you? Of course. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm a little short thing, but um, yeah, he passed me a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Did you um, did you watch American Idol? I didn't because I was at a dinner last yeah. night. Yeah. But do you know Nikki? I, I've never met her, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but of course I know I've met Mariah, Mariah a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I, uh, I, the last time that we saw you on reality TV, you were, <laughs> what Chili wants, looking for a date. Yes. And and, are you in love? Did you ever find love? No. <laughs> were you really looking for love on the show, or you just wanted to be seen on the TV? No, it wasn't just to be seen on the TV or anything like that. Honestly, for me, it's like. You know, I just want women to know their self-worth. Yes. I want women and women of color especially to, to be okay with stepping outside of the box. God made all of us. I love oh, all Oh, yeah, men. love is love. The guy that you, that you were particularly interested in. Them. He's right, a New Yorker right. and he happened to have been Indian, white. Yeah. Asian, yeah. whatever. If he's beautiful and want, hey, somebody's waving his back. A man is a man. There are the boys in the back. Hi, boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a celebrity crush? Because maybe we can put it out there and, I, you know? You know, I've had a few, but it's kind of changed a bit. But obviously, I mean, The Rock, I mean, he's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stand in line, sister. Oh, I know, that's Woo! what I'm saying. Everybody loves him. You know, the tall girls get mad when a little girl likes you gets with a big guy. Because they, that, <laughs> you, don't we? Don't we? <laughs> you know, it's like when Jada got with Will. Really? There goes another <laughs> tall man to a short girl. <laughs> Okay, but you broke it off with Usher um, after infidelity allegations back in 2004. Do you know that there are lots of people that hope that one day you guys get back together? <laughs> I like that relationship myself. <laughs> I did. Mm. Do you, oh, <laughs> this one's gonna be a tough one, okay. No, no, I'm I, going I think in. Somebody needs to give me a cold pop. No, a cold pop. <laughs> no, 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 no. A cold pop. What's Come that? on now, you know, sweet brown. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. You There's know, a joke you going over my to... head. What? Tell me. You what? don't know about sweet brown? No, what is that? Wendy, you guys. Do they have it in Jersey? She is all over the internet. Oh, a cold she's pop? Pulled... Yes, and she's You says, mean soda? She said, I got bronchitis. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Isn't that what she said? This, this is the infamous line. She was like, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. And she, and she says it just like that. It's not, okay, we gotta catch you up. 
she's trying to make me forget to continue asking about Usher. That is not true. But I'm not. Back to Usher. <laughs> do you stay in touch with him? No, we're friends. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you, uh, miss being, <laughs> being in that relationship at all? Um, we, we, we did have a good relationship. I mean, it, it as every relationship, you have your issues. Yeah. And, um, but I don't know. I think it was kind of like wrong, time. wrong timing. Well, he's single now. He's got those two cute little boys. Well, <laughs> Okay, well, what do you think about Usher on The Voice? Because you can give us insight. Because I'm thinking his personality is going to be too, too. He's take himself, look at the pictures. Take himself too seriously, and he's not going to give us cuckoo crazy and all that that we need. Well, if he would just, you know, uh -oh. be himself, and and when I say be himself, and just he's really funny. Yeah. People don't get to see that side of him. He seems like, very he's, guarded, exactly. He, yeah, he's really funny. He is so silly. Like, I mean, we used to act crazy all the time. So if he would just let that side come out and just smile all the time, that's a great smile. Yeah, he does have a great smile. And he'll smile. be fine. All right, so you're going to have to loosen up, Usher, which I still don't think you'll be able to do. <laughs> um, TLC is going on tour this year. We talked about it here on Hot Topics. And then the rumor is, is that when you and t boss tour, you will put, put a hologram of a left eye? Well, we, we talked about that years ago, way before everybody saw the, the Tupac hologram. Yes. And uh, so it's definitely something that we want to do. Um, what about Coco Crispy from, you know, the Crispy? Oh, so the Crispy. Cris yeah, that girl. No, but she, she, she wasn't a member in the group. She was a winner of the show. Oh, OK. That yeah. was another reality show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are You the Girl. Oh, Are You the Girl. Mm -hmm. I remember that one, too. Yeah. All right, so look, Chili is involved with another show. We're going to talk about that. Plus, uh, find out more about Chili next. Don't go away. <laughs> Ketchup is gonna be my base. I'm gonna have some mayo, a little bit of garlic, and some onion powder. I'm about to panic. This is too much. Oh, I need to smash up. A lot is at stake right now because if I don't do well, I feel like I let my girls down for my charity. So this is gonna be very challenging, and time is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. She cooked! We're back with TLC's Chili. And that was a clip from her new reality show that she's participating in. You know, it's uh, it's Rachel and versus Guy Celebrity Cook-Off. Mm -hmm. And you are one of the celebrities on the show. Team, team Guy. I'm Team Guy. Team Guy. Yes. Uh, tell us about, tell us about uh, uh, your cooking life. I don't see you as a cook. I am a cook. Yeah. I like throw down in the kitchen, uh, like especially like Thanksgiving. That is my day. I shut down for two days and I cook. I don't like help. And I save all the sweets like on Wednesday so the house smells like sweet potato pie and all the cakes and stuff that I make from mm -hmm. scratch. Yeah, well, I'm impressed because, you know, because you're so physically fit, you seem like a gluten-free, you know, like all the stuff that doesn't but taste good. But I do, but good. no, you just have to know how to prepare, prepare it. Prepare it. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, um, you know, we talked on Hot Topics about VH1 doing the TLC biopic. Yes. Are they they're really doing that? Oh, yeah, we're, um, oh casting gosh. is going on right now. It's so weird casting yourself. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, like finding somebody and to oh. see their impression of you, the way they, you know, when they're yeah, acting. Yeah. And so we're doing that. Are these famous girls? No, we, or... we did not want okay. famous girls to play the three of us. We yes. wanted fresh, fresh faces. Oh, I can't wait for that movie. Girl, we're going deep too. Tell, tell it. We're telling it all. Because you all's VH1 behind the Woo. music. We just need to see it in movie form. Okay, do you know that Chili is a spokesperson for Brazilian butt lift? <laughs> yes. Yes, well, first of all, I, ha I have a website with them. It's fitchili.com. And I'm, t first of all, do y'all know she can dance? No, I, I, can, saw, I can do the TLC Let's legendary do the, the dance. Come so, on. A creep. Yeah. Keep it. Yeah. That's easy. Yes. It's when you go deeper that I can't. So, what do we do to get Chili's butt? What all right, come on. Oh, God. You guys, so here we got a little tiny butt Yeah, girl. Yes. I do lunges. No, my yes. butt is hard. I'm, you would not believe. I'm, I'm telling you, the workout is amazing. It was like designed for women with the butt. It just lifts the butt. It gets all of these areas, and you do like a dip. Okay. And you have to stick your tush out. Your tush is your boom boom. Is what he says. And then you have to, you know, go like that. Oh, you got it. my knees are creaking. No, you, your husband is gonna thank me. Your I'm, hu I'm your sure, husband. but will he buy me new knees? <laughs> thank you so much.
so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad for you. This is Chili, everybody, and make sure that you check out Rachel and Guy. Celebrity Cook-Off airs Sunday nights at 9 on the Food Network. Keep it here up next. It's time for Ask Wendy. <laughs> Wendy, how you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Kendi. How you doing? Your name is Kendi? Kendi, yes. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Wendy, Kendi. How can I help Kendi? <laughs> okay, so I'm starting currently looking for a job, and on my job applications, I don't, I, mean, I lie about having a child. And just because I don't want them to think I'm not a hard worker. And so, huh? do I continue to like lie, or should I tell them I do have a baby? Okay. Your employer, once they find out, is gonna think that you are Lifetime movie crazy. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that, uh, Candy, you know how you prove you're a hard worker? By working hard. And then you wanna know what? As a mom, and I can tell you this perfectly, you will be more valuable to your boss as a woman with no child who's a hard worker, because now you're available for everything to climb up that corporate ladder. Stop with the crazy talk. Okay. Okay? All right, All thank right, you. All right, Candy. good luck, good luck. Oh, oh, wait, come out here so they can see your head to toe look. <laughs> Featuring ankle, how can I help you? How you doing, Wendy? I'm Sean, how you doing? How you doing, Sean? <laughs> um, I have a coworker slash friend. Uh, he's an older white guy and he's a bit racially insensitive. Uh, if I go out with black coworkers, he'll you know, be like, oh, you hanging out with the homies? Or if I mention black culture, he'll like, kind of roll his eyes. Oh, white and, people. Mm. <laughs> I'm not speaking for all of my people, but we don't like that. Yeah, I'm offended. How and old are you? I'm 24. Okay, let me school so you. So I just want to know how to address the situation, not lose my cool, and, and you know, keep building on the friendship. Sean, you were too cute to lose your cool. You're a very <laughs> nice young man. But um, uh, you address it directly and address it privately and do not smile about it. You mm. know, he is being racially insensitive. Tell him you like him, reinforce that. But the, 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 the racial stuff, yeah, you will yeah. not tolerate. Thank you. Low tones in private. Okay. <laughs> Up next, everybody, we've got fashion expert Liliana Vasquez here, and she's gonna show us how to layer our winter clothes without looking fat and still looking fabulous. Keep it here. <laughs> Many of us, including me, avoid wearing layers because we don't want to look big and bulky. And I know for me, every time I wear a layer, it's got to be very thin and something about it has to be snatched, uh, a la the big giant belt. So we've got fashion expert Liliana Vasquez here today and she's gonna show us the hottest uh, layering trends to keep us warm and chic. Yes. Yes, Ooh. here she is. Absolutely. Okay. What are the tips for layering? Well, you called it out immediately, which is the layers need to be slim and they need to be fitted to your body so that you can layer for warmth without the bulk. Right. The second is you need to create separation between the layers, so mix texture, mix print, so you can actually see the layer, which is my third tip. You need to visually see the layer so that it has purpose on your body. Right. Okay, um, let's get started. Our fashion show always, you know, we always have the models from our studio audience. And so our first one is Gresley. Gresley's been mar married for 23 years and she loves salsa. How cute is she? She's got a great body. So here's Gresley and she's wearing three layers. So let's start with the plaid shirt. We layered that under a striped sweater. Don't be afra afraid to mix print. So right. plaid and stripes work. Then a neutral gray blazer and then of course a neutral velvet jean. And what that does is it balances out the look and then ankle boots. So she's warm. And without... you don't look fat. No, not at all. She looks Let, fantastic. Let's, let's call it like we mean it, she right? Look, she you does look good. It. Thanks, Presley. Really okay. Our next model is Yorlini. And Yorlini enjoys working out and party planning in her spare time. <laughs> How great does she look? Okay, oh so God. this is the perfect winter weekend look. So Yorlini's actually wearing four different layers. She's I'm wearing scared. two shirts, okay? Then she's got the longer chunky cardigan there. And then on top of it, we did a vest. Vests are essential to layering. And this vest actually has a belt. Yorlini, will you tie that for us? Because if you are worried about it looking too if bulky. If you want to snatch. If you, exactly. You just pull it tight. Tighter. Pull tighter. There you go, girl. Tighter. <laughs> Breathing is so last year. Tight. Tight. So that, it defines her waist. And then we just did a leather legging. Everyone's wearing, Chili just had on the leather. Yeah. 
yeah, leggings, they're good. the little lace-up boot from UGG, and she is ready to go for the weekend, whether she's running errands or having brunch with her girlfriends. You really look cute, Yerlini. <laughs> Thank you. Our next model is Sophia, and Sophia was raised on a Hawaiian coffee farm, <laughs> and she speaks fluent Chinese. Okay. My so, girls are smart. I know, and beautiful. All right, okay, Sophia. So how gorgeous is she? She's wearing three layers plus a coat. So let's start with the dress. This is actually a sleeveless dress that you would typically wear in the summer, in the spring. Mine's sleeveless too. Okay, but what we did is we layered a really thin, tight-fitting black turtleneck under the dress. Yes. Then we did a chambray button down over the top, tied uh -huh. it up, just again, to help define the waist. You wanna make sure you're showing off your waist with the layers. You can put any coat on top of it. This one's from Macy's, $160. Lightens up the look a bit. And then tights are the most important layer for your leg. They look really good but too. But instead of a basic black tight, do a polka dot tight. Again, I'm scared. mixing prints here. But they look good. But they look so good. And then a very simple black T-strap kind of pulls the whole look together. Sophia, you look good and you don't look fat. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sophia. Thank you. Our last model is Sandy and she's a plus size fashion blogger. She's also the mother of a seven-year-old fashionista. Hi, so, so this, to me, is probably one of my favorite layered looks because it's one of the biggest trends in fashion right now, which is the Peter Pan collar. So you notice there it's got a ton of beading. It's really ornate, really beautiful. Yes, yes. That's a sleeveless shirt under a longer sweater and that soft, dusty rose. And then we talked about vest. This is a utility vest, so it's got a little bit of that masculine edge, but when you pair it back with softer colors and feminine details, the look really works. And it, then, it does look good. And notice the drawstring tie around her waist. We pulled it tight to help define it. And then a flirty skirt, of course, still appropriate to wear right now, especially if you live in warmer climates. It's good. And then we did a statement shoe because everyone needs a hot heel no matter what you're wearing. It's good. <laughs> Sandy, how do you feel? Do you feel fat? What? Do you feel fat? Do you feel no, bulky? I feel like Liliana cooked me and I'm serving her. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes, yes you like are, that. honey, yes. <laughs> Thank you to all the models for more information about today's fashion show. You can come on stage, girls. Go to wendyshow.com. Keep it here. We'll be right back. <laughs> Chili for being here today. It was so nice to talk with you after so many years. Also, Liliana Vasquez, fashion expert. We'll practice those layers. My co-host, my studio audience, thank you. Tomorrow, we've got Jerry Springer, VH1 host Carrie Keegan, and real reality star Tammy Roman for our weekly hot talk panel. That's gonna be good. Plus, uh, Hoda Kotb is gonna be here. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye. <laughs>